I've been asked to make some orifice plates by a customer. These are little stainless steel top hats with a hole in the centre that goes inside a pipe fitting to restrict the flow of liquid down the pipe. They're made from 316 stainless and I started by turning down the outside diameter of a bit of 1 inch bar to 25mm in the lathe. I had to set the lathe with about 40mm or 1.5 inches sticking out of the chuck so that I didn't get too much chatter during some of the machining operations. I started by drilling the hole at the centre which the liquid will flow through. I could then zero the parting off tool on the front face of the part and then come in and use the parting blade to create the step down feature which forms the top hat. Now I'm not using any coolant here just so you can see what I'm doing. I could then just clean the burrs off with a file. And then move the tool over and then lots of coolant here. I can't get away with doing this without uh, to part off the part. I could then come in with the facing tool and clean up the front face ready for the next part. It's important that the faces be really nice on these parts as the customer wants to have their logo etched onto them. And you rinse and repeat that process a hundred times and this is what you end up with. There's 90 on the left with what should be a 3mm hole in and 10 on the right with a 1mm hole in. And here's me just drilling that little 1mm hole. It's a really tiddly little drill bit. You can see once they're parted off you end up with this little nubbin left on the end. So to get rid of that I just pop them in the vise and knock it off with a hacksaw. Otherwise it's really hard on the facing tool um, and damages it very rapidly. So that goes back in the lathe now. That's the side we've just machined. So put it in the opposite way around and then I can face up that front edge. You can see the damage that one of those little nubbins did to that piece of carbide in the tool there. So I've set the DRO so that when Z is on zero the part will be faced to the correct length. And I've just hooked up the coolant system to a, a little bit of plastic pipe so that I don't have to hold it. So a quick face up on that and then I can open the holes out to the correct size because I didn't read the order correctly. That's a 3mm hole and that's the finished part other than a quick deburr with a little drill bit. Nice and smooth. Do both sides and it goes in the pile. Not there. Just there. That's better. That's the first part of the job done and the second part is these tri-clamp fittings. I need to make a little counter bore that goes down inside so the orifice plate can fit flush with the clamping face. And I've got a piece of high speed steel that I'm going to grind up to make a boring bar because I haven't got one small enough in carbide. I'm just putting a relief cut on the tool here and this is the finished tool geometry. It's quite good by my normal standards to be honest actually, I'm not particularly good at tool grinding. The tri-clamp ferrule goes in the lathe and I can bring the parting tool up and touch it on the front face and zero the z-axis and plenty of cutting glue as it's stainless it wears the tool out like crazy especially high speed steel on stainless so lots of cutting glue and I did it in four half millimeter steps each time I take the tool in and then cut out to my diameter and I'd be going in half a millimeter deeper each time so four cuts two millimeter total depth and then come in with the little Noga deburring tool to just clean up the sharp edges and that is the tri-clamp ferrules done. There's uh, 50 of those in total Then all of the parts got a good clean in some degreaser to get all the machining oil and coolant and all the nasties off. Give those a dry and here they all are ready for packing up and sending back to the customer. Now I thought I'd better just show you how these go together. So this is our ferrule that we've machined. Orifice plate goes into the little counter bore. There'll be a piece of pipe on here. Then the seal goes on, 
and another fitting this is just one for example goes on the other side then the hole in the center will restrict the flow of fluid through the pipe and it will go off to wherever it needs to go and then just like the ones that I did for the valves the other day in the other video the tri clamp goes around the outside and holds it all together hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time hopefully the next video will be the ring roller video